Hold on, I'm just trying to get my phone to open up. I keep saying I've got to buy a new phone, and I have. Hold on. Right, um, Sebastian, now can I just please say, can we leave the crazy at the door? No more crazy in here. No more. No more. I'm not having it. I'm not doing it. I don't want it. The past couple of weeks, it's just been crazy. Accusations flying here and there. You know what I mean? And there's more to come. There's more to come. I'll be watching it later on the Pascal show when it comes on. But if it's got any crazy in there, then I won't be broadcasting it on a, on a live. I will not. Alright, so... I hope everyone can hear, okay? Um, Ellie Andrews put a post up before I started. Saying, saying they've all failed... Pardon me. They have all failed Sebastian. Let's not fail him too. Demand FBI to take over Sebastian's case and find him. Otherwise, his file will be away. Cap again. Yeah. Right. Now, from what I read today, one woman was organising all the phone numbers of the mayor and all those. All the people that need to know. The DA, everyone. And she's got like, she's got, I've got over 100 people so far who will be phoning these numbers today. Right? And I thought, yeah. Can't do no harm. Cannot do no harm. So... 
Let's see how it goes. Oh, I told you. That's it. That's it. Got my phone up and working. Uh, I have had a look at my laptop today. I have altered my thing on there. So hopefully if I'm getting any buffering, any stuttering, any crackling, can you let me know? Because if not, I'm going to have to do a complete reboot of the whole system. Because something isn't right. I've checked my internet. My internet's fine. Uh, there was a setting on there which had two... It was set on two... Two something. Two stations. And I thought, hold on. I only broadcast one, and that's mine. So I took it down. I was able to take it down to one. So I'm hoping that has worked. If not, please let me know, because I need to do a complete overhaul. Which is a bit annoying, because I haven't deleted anything. And it's probably been something... You know when you get them uploads? I'm sure I put something in them uploads. Right, I'm sure they do. I've had it before on a laptop where it says... You need to upload uh up, upload this Windows or something. So I thought, okay. And I had problems galore after that. I had to do a reboot of my laptop. That was a few years ago, though. Because I was telling someone about it, and they said, did you do any uploads? I said, yeah. Because it was telling me I needed to upload this. And I did. I said, that's it. So, because of that, I had to do a complete reboot of my laptop. So, please, if you get any buffering, any crackling, any where I'm breaking up, please let me know so then I can sort this out properly once and for all, hopefully tomorrow. Because I've been, my internet's fine. I've been checking it all day long. I've checked it 10 minutes before I come online. Everything was fine with my internet. It's as soon as, well, I won't even say it's as soon as I start broadcasting another video because I was watching, listening to one of my previous ones and I thought, that's bad. That's real bad. And normally I don't like listening to myself, but I thought I'm going to have to listen because I don't know what people are wrong about. So I listened, and I only had to listen for a few minutes. I thought, no, that's bad. No, can't do that. I've got to sort this out. So hopefully it's okay. If not, let me know. But today we're going back to ground zero. Some people might say ground zero is the steakhouse, because that is the last official sighting. Actual sorting of Sebastian. However, the police, law enforcement have stated, and I'm going by law enforcement and the facts that they have stated that they could tell who it was by the way they went back up the drive. Because apparently, the person who went back up the drive after taking the rubbish out was skipping and everything like a child would. Okay, we take you for your word because you're doing nothing else. You've said nothing else. So let's look at that day. Right, I'm going to pull up Google Maps. All right, because. I'm going to have a look at this great day he had on the Sunday. Where they went, everything. It was a fun. I suppose it all depends what time they left. I, I would say it was a full day, but they probably left about uh, 
um, in the morning. In the morning, they've never said that. So, my cats are not eating their cat food. So today, I haven't put all that down again. They always have their dry food, always. Okay, tonight, because I've just thrown two bowls of cat food away. Now normally those, those bowls are empty, empty in the morning, but they're not, they're still full. But let's share uh, this off though, don't need that though, do need that. We're going to put the Google Maps up. All right, let's just take this off. Right. Let me get rid of me from there. Put myself here. Right. So, this is where Sebastian lives. Oh, God. What's going on with my mouse? Go in. Come on. All right. Let's go. Yes. Hey. No. There's this house. This here where my little finger is. Oh, God's sake, man. There. That, I believe, is Bastion's bedroom. Right? Because they said, this is from 2023, July 2023. So, yeah, they was living there then, when this was took. Because apparently they've been married two years. So would they have been living there in 2023? Perhaps not. Perhaps they weren't living there then. Anyway. But that's Sebastian's bedroom there. Now... I'm going, I'm going, I'm going off, I'm going off sub, subject by doing that. In the morning, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. To oh, I'll just wrap it all out once, I'll do. So, everything's on to Anki Dory and Kill. She gets up at 6 a.m. and he's not there. And that's when all this how and craziness is let loose. Right? Now, why is my YouTube not opening? Oh, it is. I'm going to. to or I'm going to play four sheets each I'm just trying to find it now because 
Saya mengingat Ngat 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 Tak bisa isi Ngat Skip Sorry about this So, let's go back again. See if it'll let me do it now. Oh, come on. Right. W. S. M. V. Paul. Right, I can find you. When I don't want it, I can find you. But you watch this. No. Oh, I'm going to think I found him. I just want my baby to be okay. Well, it's just a system I heard, you know. Something in the way of my mouth system. You know what I mean? This page is having a problem. Tell me. Tell me about it. That's quicker. Oh, nice. First part. The parents' discourse is seven seconds long. Are you joking me? Why is this happening now? I swear to God. <sighs> I don't want to come watch it. I want to watch it now. I'm going to see if I can... I think it's... Maybe it's because I had... Come on, open up. I call to... Destination, whatever. If I can ever find that part again. I don't know what section it was under. This is doing my heading to the point where I feel like I've just done this live because it's doing my heading now. Come on, it might be second. Ah, right. Um. System for my mouse.
No, it's not. This is annoying because it won't even let me go. That's what I want to watch. Yeah, but it won't let me watch it. This page is having a problem. Give me a minute. Swear to God. I just can't get those videos up. I can't do it. If I can get any of the videos up, I'm going to get something. Yes, let me do that, but it won't let me watch the other interviews. <laughs> now, I will get mine. I checked the interviews today. I clicked on them all, and it's all running perfect. I don't know why, why it's playing up now. Okay, you don't want me to have those videos on. Let's go where we was. We was at the maps. So, what happened? It apparently, took those bins out. That's the thousand dollar question. They say we don't know. He went, but I did have a thought. And now I've heard that apparently his ba bedroom light kept flickering on, well, turning on and off or flickering on and off. And someone said perhaps he had a bedroom lamp. Right? <laughs> Got no a moment. I'd rather sit watching my TV with no lamps on. Anyway, so perhaps perhaps something did happen. His lamp got knocked over. And sometimes when you knock a lamp over, it does flicker because it can loosen or whatever. But Something happened. Someone also said, apparently, that's when she went clock. 11.30, he was... That's the first time I've heard of that. That's the first time I've heard of that, that she went in because apparently he was still awake at 11 or 11.30. No, at 11. At 11.30? This is a big one, 11.30, a shadowy figure, figure, some, like a, someone was walking around outside their house. And that, that's it, that's how I remember it now. Apparently, a shadowy figure was seen by Katie outside their house. So she gets up to look, or to whatever, something like that. Anyway, she goes in the kitchen about 11.30, and that's when she heard a thud. And that's when she shouts through, is that you, Bubba, falling out of bed? And he goes, no, Mum, well, whatever you're doing, go to sleep. That's 11.30. She told us 10.30. So what is it, Kate? Is it 10.30 at night you heard the thud? Or 11.30? Or 11 o'clock? It was either 11 o'clock, but I know at 11.30, someone was said about she saw a shadow outside their house. 
at 11.30. Now, why was that never mentioned before in the first interview? That interview that they weren't let me show. Looks like we're going to have to do a hard reboot to that. Reboot the whole laptop. Don't want to, but looks like I'm going to have to. There's nothing on there. Everything is saved to my YouTube account anyway, so I'll just log back into my YouTube and it'll all be there. But there's nothing on my laptop that I really, well, there is just pictures. But nothing that I can't get back, you know what I mean? There's nothing I can't get back. Let's go down to the house. area. Now, like I said, why? If he came, I'm gone. Say, he did come out of that house, like they say, and he come out and he's walked around. Right, okay, I've got to come out a bit more. So, walked around, round here, and you see that little gully? Because you walked in there, right? Past here, he could have, okay? Come out from this, he can pick him up, right? But come on, you know, these houses, you know, I'm going to ask some of these houses because we're going to have a look. Right? Mind just don't mind. Nosey. Right? Right? All the houses damages. Right. Has this got a ring doorbell? You can't. Has it got any cameras on it at all? You're telling me these houses don't have all the wool over my eyes. What's that? You know what I mean? It's... It's... But I can't see none on the front of that house. Let's go down here, me. Go down here. Oh. Can you want to see any cameras? Anyway, I'm getting off the point here. Right. I'm going to throw this fucking mouse in the bin. Right. We're getting off the thing. You're telling me he's got all the way up this road, barefoot, no bird, running on an adrenaline. Right. Trying to get away from a little or whatever. Oh, no, what have we got? So blurry.
Any of that. Cameras on these houses somewhere. Alright, he's going all the way up this road. No shoes on. Diggly do, thinking I'm just going away from home. I don't care. I'm not going back home. I'm going to leave. I'm going. I'm off. No. Oh, God's sake. We know. Here. In built. Right. Because that's that new estate thing, new housing complex of building. The one where the retention pond was, or retention ponds, because they do, and the one where apparently on that. That's cool. The dog, the law enforcement police officer and his dog was led up to that retention pond. Right? And that retention pond, he found footsteps. When the officer says it's bed feet with a shoe, the transmission goes a bit wobbly, a bit weird because and it cooks back in. So it misses that bit out. I can't make out what he's saying. And I'm thinking, hmm, what's the point in that? You know, I think it just tells us the dog led you to a retention pond, which may or may not have been Sebastian's set. But like I said before, Think was you know walking around that area. So if he did go that way, he probably done it on a night time when his mum's kicked him out. There. Go out there for a bit, calm down. Or just on a Saturday or a, to, to do something for himself, but he's stuck in the house all day. So That was where the police dogs took him to. So they all down, all up this road here, all up this road. And they look fairly new here. Right, they look really, really new. So I don't think they're being up that long. Oh, this image capture was 2007. This image cap capture. Now. That's image from July 2023. You alright? But we look up here. Right. Remember 2007. How did it work that? It's like doing a capture, going around in a van. They do the whole road, not just half of it. Right, so literally from here, that's where it's July 2023. From here up, it's November So anyway, apparently he's come all the way up this road. No coat. Doesn't make why he would go there if he's running away from home. Does not make sense to me at all. And the other thing I want to You know, you've got that video going about where it's shown the lights, where it makes it look like there's a fight or something going outside of a garage doors. 
that camera image came from there. Came from there. Came from that camera. Now it's angled fairly low, really, I think, and it's low down. I'm not sure if that's the camera or the light, because the other day someone went past, and it was there. You know what I mean? So, that was like a light on the wall there when they went past. That, cam that footage. Now, in that other video they were talking about with the lights and the ruckus or of the fight going on, right? They're making out Sebastian's garage lights. I'm sorry, you cannot see his house from that angle. And he's... So, I don't pay a lot to that video. Unless law enforcement come out of this house, then I go, okay, I'm more This driveway, there's, at the time, when the video is running, some other car was parked. Like a truck or something. In that. There. I don't know. So. But you cannot see their garden from there. That's their house, the little red roof thing. That's it. Is. Yeah, the reason of the door there. People have mentioned that door. I'm um, since first. I'm oh, well, coming to into the comment. I'm still wondering since footprints were seen going to the pond and pond was drained, did Sebastian fall in water and was pulled out elsewhere around pond? No, because I think if he'd been pulled out of the water, there'd be more of a scent there. I think the dog was just tired and probably hot. You know what I mean? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. That going to there, and it also stated it looked like they was running. Who's he running from? His mom. Because don't forget, Chris CP was at work in Memphis, three hours and thirty some minutes away. Let's make that crystal clear. Right? He was at work. So, it all hinges around this house. And that's... Until that picture come out the other week. Right? I'm here. I was still stuck at this house. It's bedroom in there. Right. Now they said if he climbed out the bedroom in it, he'd fall on, he'd land on some big bushes. 
They're only small there. 23. People have drove past that house. Right? Recently, and I think, and those bushes are still small. Right? Yeah. She's got and then she's got, got like these up lighters. The light is that light that shine upwards. She's got up lighters that go oh god sake of me. That go up here. It's there. There. And there. Up lighters. They've got these uh little slow bang sticking the ground. Like we thought, no, they are uploads, right? Don't you have to pay by the sun? You're not being argumentative, Esther. All opinions are welcome. All opinions are welcome. I imagine the dogs went round the whole pond. I'd like to think they did. I'd like to think that the whole site was searched. But we know that wasn't. Because tell you how we know that? Because in the um, dispatch call, one officer said, I've just spoken to such and such, who's the manager of the site. And he said he will go, he will inform all his teams to check the properties they are working on. Shut up! Don't tell me no. Oh, come on! Come on, my mama's back. Come on! I've been silly, right? So they didn't actually do a check of the site itself. The management, the Grounds man management was getting his team, the teams in work, that work there, to check the properties that those were working on. So they didn't do no checks of them properties. None of them, all those empty properties, they didn't check them. Because they said, I'll get into, I'll phone you back later once I get all in, once they come back to me. So they didn't do the check of that. They should have gone in every empty property and checked every property, but they didn't. They should have stopped all work on that site until every property had been checked. Every empty property had been fully checked. Right? But they didn't. And now I'm hearing, hmm, now I'm hearing, this is why it's so crazy, that apparently their rubbish, their general rubbish, does go to Kentucky. The neighbours don't say that, the neighbours say it goes elsewhere, but someone else is saying no, it goes to Kentucky. So... <coughs> <coughs> It's just a bit coincidental that the landfill where in Gallatin, is it? I'm not sure where it was now. There was a fire in one of their buildings. Now, how do we know that Sebastian hadn't been put in one of them buildings? Bump, fire goes up, no one's going to know anything different. Because you're not going to go in there and check it, are you? You know what I mean? For bodies. They're not going to do that. Oh, it's a skip. It's a tip. It's where rubs goes. They're not going to go in and check it. They're just going to put the fire out and make sure it's out because it can smold that. So, yeah. So this is why it's so flipping annoying. And this is why I will not Unless I get a positive sighting again of Sebastian. 
I am not leaving this. I am camp. Hold on. I am camping virtually. Virtually. God. If I can get any closer, that is. It's not gonna get. <laughs> I'm just camping their garden. Let me move. I uh, camp virtually on the Exactly. There was no proper... I don't think there was any full forensic search done on their house. Yeah, okay, they had dogs going. They've had people going ten times. Right? Mm, we don't know. Perhaps they did do a forensic search, and they're not saying. But it just got me the other day. I was listening to that phone call again, the abusive one, where CP is lashing out at that PI and everything, and Seth. And when uh, Heather said to Chris, oh, well, um, Bobby is now talking, is back talking with uh, Seth. He's not going through me no more. And that's probably why Seth But well, if he's not going to go through you and he's coming straight to me, there's no point in having a PI. Right? That was the whole reason he wanted to PI, was so that, she could get the information right because I wasn't talking to him. Right? So, when she said to Chris, he quiet for a second, for a second, let me, just for a second, but well, it was deadly. It was deadly. He took my and said, Well, something to the effects of, well, I hope whatever Bobby is telling, whatever Seth is told by Bobby, he doesn't open his big mouth out because I will personally, I can't remember what he said. I have got the, I've got the cleaned up version of that interview, of that phone call. Yeah. Uh, Josh from the lab, he's done a good job. He it all up. He bleeped it out. We've, um, God. Here it is. I've got it here. So what's it? Because I'm sure Bobby isn't going to be telling Seth anything that involves you know what I mean? uh, um, Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Why would you go and have 10 tons without doing a forensics? Forensics must have been done. They're just not safe, and neither was Katie or Chris. But then again, why won't they let that other dog handler, Julia, go into the house? Not that step. Don't even go there. Crazy is left at the door. Crazy is being left at the door. Right? So why won't they let Julia? I think her name's Julia, going with her dogs, right? One is uh, trying to find pharma, uh, medicines, right? Prescribed medicines and illegal stuff and all that lot. Now, as she said, if she went in and her dog didn't pick up on any pharmaceutical or 
prescribed medication, which he's trying to do, and he does it every time, he picks up on it every time. If he went in that house and didn't pick up on anything like that, then it's telling her they wasn't expecting Sebastian home. But if a dog went in and picked up on his medications, right, in the bathroom or wherever, wherever she kept them, then it's telling her, yes, they expect they were they were expecting him to come home because the medicines are still there. So I just want to know why why they won't let them do it. Okay. I can understand people saying, yes, but for like a whole week they had police officers going in and out and in and out their home. Well, I'm sorry, but there's a 15-year-old autistic lad missing. I would have law enforcement living in my home if I had to, if it was my son or my child. You know what I mean? I wouldn't care how many times I came in. I wouldn't care if, like, two or three weeks later, a dog hung that, or, well, no, two months later, a dog hung that, asked if they could come in. I'd say, yes, please, come in. My doors are open, come on in. Do you want law enforcement? No, I don't need law enforcement. But Chris always refers back to whenever he's got to make a decision, he refers back to the law enforcement. Right? Why? Why does he do that? Just to make him sound superior. Well, I'm sorry, Chris. You're superior of jack shit. Right, so, um, but I would say, please come in, I'll literally say, I live here if you want. I've got, I, I've got blow-up bags, I've got airbags, you know what I mean, just, I don't care. Do what you've got to do. You're leaving on my whole house. Fingerprint every item in my house. You know what I mean, do what you have to do. Just find my son. And as for police telling me, well, we'd rather you didn't go out searching. I'd be going, well, I'd rather you shut your face and get on with your job. I'm getting out there. You know what I mean? Shut up. You're not telling me I cannot go out there looking for my son. As long as there's someone at this house who can answer a phone call or open a front door, I am going out. Right? Now, Seth, uh, Chris was there. So he's more than capable of answering a phone call or opening a front door. What was that, SG? We don't know what law enforcement took out of the house. My thought would be would have been to get meds in the house. If there were no meds, but I've... What's happened? So... But I've heard there were meds on YouTube. I'd be calling them pharma pharmacies to see when filled. Yes. That's what she's saying. If her dog went in, her one gator, I like the first name, A-R-R-A, armed, ready, armed and ready to assassinate. I love that name. If I ever have a dog again, I'm calling it Ara. Right? So, she said if her dog had gone in there, gave her a gong in, and found no, and gave her no sign of medicines in that house, then that would have told her that I was not expecting to fast in home. If her dog had gone in and Acknowledge the fact there was medicines in that room, somewhere in that house. That would have told her that's expecting him back home because they still had this medicine medication there. 
Tu bị chơi nhớ nhỉ? Ờ Ờ chọn nó là check some amount mà chị hay chị Nhớ là mỗi mẹ chị hay chị hay chị hay chị hay chị hay chị hay chị And the other one is for a month. And the wrong act is in uh, the child for both. What is going to be? Keep out of each children. It doesn't tell you exactly as to when it goes out of date. I would have thought they would have had some sort of out of date where you can't use them. Oh yeah, I'm going to, no, I was just telling them how to take these tablets for. I'm quite surprised by that. There's no, like, you know, you have these, um, some medication, like, whatever, uh, where you, after a certain date, it's got on there and you look and you think, oh God, that's out of date now, I can't use that. Is that more for liquid form medication? Yep. Allegedly, if KP accidentally overdosed it, but someone mentioned the other day, perhaps you gave him his medication, right? Because I was just saying, like, at 11 o'clock, she got up to go to the kitchen. She heard a noise. That's that when she heard that thud, and that's when she shouted through to Sebastian. Is that, is that you falling out of bed again? And he said, no, mum. Right? And he said, well, whatever it is, pack it. Settle down, you need to go to sleep. Then at 11.30, it's allegedly she said, or someone has said, there was a shadow, she saw a shadowy figure outside their house. And Sebastian was still awake. He's going to be still awake because he's so piped up from that day. You know what I mean? He's just going to be so hyped up. From that day. BJ. Well, first of all, I went to the shops uh, to do a bit of grocery shopping. They met up dinghies and the two arms. They went to a bit, doing a bit of grocery shopping. They went to BJ. So went bowling. They went back home, and then come back out again and had dinner. And got back home about twenty-five to seven. Twenty-five to twenty to seven. He put the rubbish bin. That nine o'clock. He come through. She took the bag. Boom. That that's it. Now. I love my grandson, right, because I sorted him out the other night, right, I jumped off here pretty quickly the other night because it was wanting my attention, so I apologised to everyone and I just literally shut down, bump, right, after five minutes of sorting him out by getting him a drink and a snack or something, you can go back online now, Gran. I went, you know what, sweetheart? This now, I've finished that now. So let's just settle down for a lot. Within 10 minutes, he gone in and he ate those crisps and he had a bit of juice. And within 10 minutes, he was fast asleep. I went into bed at about 11 ish, 11.30. He cocooned himself in my duvet cover. So I had to get the throw that I have on top of my bed, which I love, so cosy. I had to sleep with just my throw over me because he cocooned himself around my duvet cover. And then Saturday, I wasn't coming on. I wasn't. And I sorted him out again and he was going to his bed. And he said, you going online tonight, Grant? I went, no, babe, I'm not online tonight. Oh, but you can. It's not too hard, sweetheart. You're here. 
I'm going to be spending time with you. So that's when we could get up on the sofa with my throw that he loves. And then we went to bed about half ten-ish. You know what I mean? I knew he wouldn't go to sleep early because he fell asleep in the afternoon. But that's what you have to take into consideration. When a child's had such a busy day, right, and their senses are all over the place, he's not going to settle down. And sometimes, sometimes, you may not need to give him a sleeping medication. Hear me out. Because he's had such a busy, hectic day, bowling, Bobby J, bowling, renting a meeting family, right? Super day. He's been hyperactive. All day. Sometimes you don't need to give them medication because sometimes they naturally fall asleep because the body is just so tired. Right? But I don't... So you don't always have to give them medication. And if she did, giving the medication where we didn't need it, say, because his own body was taking it in anyway, I'll tell you a case. Magdalene McCann, right? Magdalene The day before she went missing. British girl over in... I can't remember where it was. Right? Uh, had a fantastic day that day. She'd been out with her, the, um, the group, the kids' club, children's club, and they took them out on the boats with the life jacket on and all this lot, right? And when the mother went to pick her up from the children, kids' group, Magdalene was tired, tired. She was saying she was tired, right? She wasn't, she couldn't eat a dinner properly because she was tired. And when she went to bed, she literally fell asleep within minutes. But her mother, Got no proof of this. Got no proof. Just my opinion. Others believe he gave her some sleeping medication to help him sleep all night. Because the night before, when they went out for the meal the night before, right, Magdalene was crying and so was one of the little babies. So was the bab one of the twins crying. And the next morning, the day before she went missing, Magdalene had said to her mom, why didn't you come last night when we was calling you? So the night before she went, the night she went missing, she was already tired, but her mom or her dad gave her some sleeping medication. They even gave it to the twins. Right? And I'll tell you why I say that. Because when they reported Magdalene missing, Everyone came rushing up to their apartment. Everyone went into that bedroom. Those twins never woke up for a good hour, one hour or more. They didn't wake up. So what I'm saying is perhaps he had such a busy day, he was tired naturally and he didn't need his medication and by Giving him the medication is like an overdosing. You know what I mean? That's what we believe happened with Magdalene. We believe she's already physically tired. Her body was tired, but by giving that, her that medication to make her sleep, it's just like topped up her tiredness and overdosed her. Right? And... I don't think personally that happened. I think he was still wide awake at half eleven. And apparently she saw this shadow. Right? Now, if I was on the phone to my husband, which she would have been at half eleven, and I saw a shadow outside, I'd be going, I'd be going, uh, uh, there's something outside our house. 
There's someone walking outside your house, around your house. You know what I mean? My hubby would have been straight in the car, three hours or not, and straight up home. He would have been straight home. Right? But not before telling me to phone the police. <laughs> but he wouldn't have to tell me that because I'd be phoning the police myself. But that's what is now I'm now hearing that apparently at eleven she went in the kitchen at eleven to get a drink. And that's when she heard the the, the bang. The noise come from Sebastian's room. Not at ten o'clock now, from what I can understand. Then at eleven thirty she a shadow walking past her house. Right? Now I don't know, from the position of the living room, they've got two, well, is it two doors? I'm not sure. I pulled the map up and going up the house. Would she see from the living room? Maybe, depending on where she was. If she was closer to the kitchen area, she may have seen into the dining room and saw someone walk, a shadow go past the front of the house. Uh, but I'm not sure if there's another door from the living room into the dining room. I'd have to look at the, you know, that floor plan where they take you on a video tour. Actually, I've got that. I can pull that up if you let me play. Um, and uh -huh. Let's just see what happens. If I can give it up. Go to images. Because uh, <laughs> Just do a visual search. Here it is. Here it is. We're going. I'll put the video on for you, so you can look at this house yourself uh, and understanding of. The living room. Oh, is it showing? Yeah. Right. So now there's a guy, right, coming from the dining room hallway. Right, like, see, so you come in through the front door and you come straight in into the dining room, or into the living room. So the only place from her living room she would see a shadow at half eleven going past her front of the house is if her sofa is, or chair, was facing the dining room area where she could see someone walk past the front of the house. But let's have a look. All right, but it's not the house. But this was before they brought it. This is something else. Why didn't they put Sebastian up in that room? Why put Sebastian in a downstairs upon suite? 
on. Set. I will, oh, God, I can't get this off my screen. So you come through the front door and you can see the living room, right? From there, you got the door. Room, then you got another door. Right? And then you go into the kitchen, and from the lounge, uh, dining room, you can come into the kitchen as well. I don't know what that room was. Off the kitchen then. I'm The bedroom, I don't know. What? So, this is Sebastian, was Sebastian's room. No. Oh, stop. See what I mean because of the windows? But then again, the windows don't look that big out of And that's the door which creaks. My side's got again. I don't believe. Oh God! Get up. SG. I don't believe KP, and I'm finding it difficult to know when she's telling the truth or lying. Exactly, because if now if she's now brought that up to eleven o'clock where she heard the thug, because she got up to get a drink and that's when she heard that noise. That's an extra hour onto it, and from something. Someone out, I heard some. I heard someone say that apparently she did go and check on him because he was still awake at eleven thirty, and she went in to check on him. Well, it was eleven thirty that the neighbours, and I believe it was a ring doorbell that captured that because for a ring doorbell to be set off, right? Something has to set that off, yeah, from into the zone. Like a car going past, or someone else walking past, or a dog, or a cat, whatever. Something has to set that ring doorbell off to start recording. So it had to be a home security video. And apparently it said it was about half eleven. Mm -hmm. Bit funny now that she's staying at half eleven, she saw someone outside her house. Because apparently it was about half eleven that the bedroom lights, Sebastian's bedroom light, kept flickering, flicking on and off for about 15 minutes. Bit coincidental. This shadow was allegedly there. I'm confused. Why, ca why case isn't being seen as foul play? Because Sebastian, yeah, exactly. I don't believe, I don't believe that. Well, I think she's saying that now because someone has released the fact that the neighbour has got a video, had it on their video, that the bedroom light kept flicking on and off for like 15 minutes. So that's just her prompt to say, well, I saw a shadow outside the house. You know what I mean? If someone was up close to my house like that, close enough to cause a shadow outside my window, I'd be, what the feck are you doing, or on the 911 call. You know what I mean?
I'm a bit like my mum. My mum was, what, 80-something, and she used to go outside and have a right go at the lads, hanging around in groups. And we used to say, Mum, you can't do that. You cannot go out there. You don't know what they are carrying. You're an old lady. They can attack you. Let them try. That was my mum. That was my mum. Why? And um, I think I'm a bit like my mum. Let them try. But it doesn't make sense. Why is this now coming out? Why is it now gone to 11 o'clock when she was going to get a drink out of the kitchen like she had the food? And then at 11.30, when apparently the neighbor, someone has said on their camera, one of their cameras, they've got it on camera, that his bedroom light was clicking on and off for 15 minutes. Now, was that a lamp that falling over? And sometimes, like I said, the bulb can come loose and it can flicker, give a flickering effect. Could something have happened? Because she'd gone in at like about 20 past 11 and had said, this isn't bad enough, this, you should be getting to bed, you got school in the morning. No, and let rip on him. And something happened, and that's when the lamp has fallen off the bedside unit. And that's what's causing the flickering of the light. Or was it a signal for someone to come? We don't know. Because it, no cars was caught on. Well, we say no cars were caught on these cameras. We don't know. Because law enforcement aren't telling us so at all. Hi, Karen. Maybe Sebastian was over-medicated and staggered and knocked his body against the lamp. Possibly. But this, perhaps she did over-medicate him. Right? Like you said, but was doing, got up and was around, knocked the bug, knocked his body against the lamp, right? He could have fell over, hit his head. And that's when the damage was caused. But why wouldn't you say if it was an accident? Why didn't she just say it was an accident? Like, I've known people say, I'm so, I didn't realise, but I, I forgot I'd give him his medicine earlier. You know what I mean? I forgot all about it. And I've gone in and gave it him again. Yeah, that thought. Apparently that was at 11 o'clock now, though, Karen, from what I'm hearing. But like I said, until I get that confirmed, I'm not. But it's just becoming scantier that she said there's a shadowy, there's some shadowy person or thing outside their house at 11, 11.30. Yep, maybe in deep denial. I must admit, if I could show you those videos, but it won't let me. For some reason, it won't let me show it. Right? No, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to that guy. Um... When she's walking back, and I honestly would have believed her. But it's just one little thing at the very beginning that went, nah, don't believe anything she's telling me now. Exactly, SG. Well, I don't know what the medication's like, but I know I have medication to help me sleep for my anxiety. Because the, the other medication I'm on, I have to take in the morning. And it was making me, oh my God, I, my head was everywhere. I wasn't sleeping. I was unable to get anything done. Like, I'd start one job, then I'd start another job. I was all over the place, literally. I'd be scrubbing floors with a toothbrush because it wasn't clean enough. That's how bad it was getting. Right? I wasn't sleeping. 
If I did, I maybe got two hours sleep a night. So, I got to the point where one day I was walking around the shop and there's a couple wa walking in front of me doing nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. And there's a good 10, 15 feet in front of me. So, there wasn't even directly in front of me. But I just wanted so much to slap their heads because they was annoying me because they was there. And I told my doctor that, and that's when he put me on this medication. He said, that's lack of sleep because you're not sleeping. I concentrate because I concentrate. You're getting aggravated. I have my medication for my sleep, and it helps with my anxiety a little bit. There's still sometimes I'm gonna slap slap someone when I'm out and about. I've put my I've had a, a, a basket full of shopping at one stage, and I'm waiting to get served at the checkout. And the woman at the checkout who's serving is chit chatting. The other one is putting the goods through, the the customer, she's standing there chit-chatting. Nothing's getting put away. And I'm going, are you serious? And I'm literally wanting to f go up and grab this woman by the throat and go, do your fucking job. Serve the woman. Move them on. Because this queue is going up an oil, Going up a fucking aisle. So in the end, my anxiety was going all over the place. I just put the basket down and walked out the shop. And I take my medication between 10. If I take it at 10 p.m., then by 10.30, I'm ready, to, I'm ready for bed. I really am. So I'm normally taking, after I finish on here, so it's normally about half 10, quarter to 11. By quarter past 11, I'm ready for bed. But I'm so groggy in the morning when I get up. And I don't wake up till about, what, 9 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Get me up before nine, get me up before 10 o'clock and it's like, don't even talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. Don't acknowledge me. Just give me coffee. That's me in the morning. Yeah, sometimes I can get overstimulating and sometimes I take my medication like at 10 o'clock and I'm still sitting here wide awake at 2 o'clock in the morning. It doesn't work. And then I end up going to bed about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and then I sleep through till about 12. And that's half my day gone. But sometimes I am too overstimulated. If I've been too busy in that day and I've done too much, then my medication doesn't work. So if he was overstimulated, his medication may not have worked. And as someone said in, on theirs, their life, I said, could she have given him, if she was on medication as well for sleep, could she of giving him one of her tablets. Thinking, well, that medication hasn't worked tonight. I'll give you one of mine. Because I know mine works because I'm out for the count. Honest, SG, I am all over the place some days. My son said to me once, he said, it's ADHD. I mean, F-A-D-H-D. Just give me some sleep and make sure I've got my coffee. I don't care about nothing else. Take my coffee off me and I will kill. Literally, go for your throat and kill you. Do not take my coffee off me. Right, so, I, I'm, I was at one stage, I've had to cut back on my coffee because at one stage I was having a one a mug of coffee an hour. 
every hour I was drinking a coffee. And I thought, that's not helping my sleep either. So I have cut back on my coffees. I made a coffee before coming on here at 8 o'clock and it's still cool. But it's like I go to a party, I can't drink no more. I cannot drink. I've had to submit to the fact that I cannot drink alcohol no more because I literally I end up like comatized. Right. <laughs> So when I go out now, if I go to a party, I'll have my uh, Coca-Cola with, and it has to have, if I have a glass of Coca-Cola, it has to have three slices of lemon in it. No more, no less. It has to have three slices in it. When I went for a meal a few weeks back, I went up to get myself a glass, uh, a glass of, well, I went up for range drinks, and I went kind of, um, a glass of Coca Cola, please. And I went, yeah, no problem. I went, um, before you disappear, can I have three? Three. And I'm actually showing him the three fingers. Three slices of lemon. Can it, please? He went, okay. Thank you. And I came back with my Coca Cola and my three slices of lemon. So because I can't drink no more, that's what I have is Coca-Cola and my, and my lemon. Lemons. Anyway. But it, it was overstimulated. I don't care what it just says. When someone said, all day for Sebastian to do, to spend time with his mum like that. Right? A normal day. Then and he said he wasn't overstimulated. Uh, pardon me. I don't know you. I ha I don't live in your house, and I don't know Sebastian. But I know a child with autism who has a day like that is going to be well and truly overstimulated. So his medication wouldn't have worked. His medication wouldn't have worked. So that's where we are at the moment with that, and. I just can't understand why I with the maps what I've got the maps. See, see this here, here. This area, right here. That's me. I am tainted. What can I'm tainted? I'm not moving from that place. That is me, because something happened in that house. No way did he come out on that porch and then poof, go. Didn't happen. No scent on these steps. No scent on the pathway. No scent round. Oh, well, yes. Tell a lie. Dog. Did pick up on a scent, even though he said there were three dogs in that uh, dispatch call. There's only one dog. One dog. Not three. Now, I'm sure if whoever picked it would be on a dispatch call. So, we're going to go over and watch uh, the. Because apparently he's got a lawyer and they to get the CPS records. Now they can talk about them. They can talk about the records. But the same things we have to talk about. But I hope he has got the CPS records. He deserves to have them. His co parent. It's 50-50 parenting with Katie. He's got more rights to see them than Chris has. I mean, 
why look at him to get a lawyer to get this paperwork if that's the case right and then today we had chloe dx where is it ah uh, facebook um yeah i had to copy cut and paste it and then do it this way it won't let me It says, right, share this. As many know, I've been a private investigator on Sarah and Roger's case. I've been involved since early March, hang out work consistently and tirelessly with many incredible people in this community. I need to announce that I've been asked to stand. This decision was made after a hard conversation and a congruence with boundaries I personally held in regard to direction I believe my investigation should go. Seth and I have chosen different paths, but our goal stays the same. These cases are difficult to involve in an investigation and not always agreed upon. She was made for I am highly protective of the victims and families I serve. Everyone involved wants nothing more than to find Sebastian. Seth is aware I will never stop searching for Sebastian and he does not want me to. I will continue as I have for two months. Just now it will be independently. I am open to questions, although I'm sure there are some I will still be able to answer. Please do not allow this statement to further distract you from the goals in all of this. Continue to share. He is who matters. That's Sebastian's army. Right. Now, obviously, they've come to some sort of pass, right? And if Seth wants to go one way, she leaves and goes another. They have to, they, you know what I mean? So she obviously just doesn't think, believe in the way Seth wants to go, and Seth doesn't believe in the way she wants to go. But at the end of the day, they were both there for Sebastian. In KP's group, she gives some intricate details but never mentions medication. Is it possible this is proof of overdose? She's omitting medication in script. Wow, she's omitting a lot in the script. But then again, a lot of things that we would take for granted. Like people keep going on about the fact that she never said anything about him having a bath or a shower before he got into his night clothes. That's something you take for granted. It's like, did you wake up this morning? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's automatic. You take it for granted that they've had a shower and not in the pyjamas. The person who took the bins out is popped in. It don't take long to have a shower. It's popped in. Got had a shower. Got into his night clothes. And then went and played for a little while in a room somewhere. So there's lots of little things people go on about. Wow, she doesn't go on about him having a shower or a bath or doing this or brushing his teeth. It's automatic. It's like saying when you say to your child when they go to bed, I love you. Right? You don't need to automatically tell everyone, oh, when my child goes to bed, I always say, I love you. And they always turn back and say, I love you, mommy. You don't have to tell them everything. They're picked on her for saying that about how he said, love you, mom. Night, mom, love you. And she's turned around and said, love you. As I'd say, well, look, I'm doing a, I must be a good mom because he loves me. So they, they singled you out for that. So 
And because she hasn't said whether he had a shower or a bath or whatever or brushed his teeth, they're singling her out again for that. I think you can't single her out for that. I'm sorry, you can't. It's something you automatically think about. You, wouldn't, you don't think about saying, well, he had a bath and then he did this. and You don't think about that. You say, well, we, we come back. We got back about 25 to 7. Um, he took the rubbish out about 7 o'clock. And then he's coming. And he was playing in the... You don't think about, but he had a bath and a shower or he's done this or done that. You don't think about that. You think about, but then after he took the bins out, he was playing in the room. So, her not stating he had a bath or shower or brushed his teeth doesn't worry me. Um, but medication as well, I don't know, it's automatic, you wouldn't think about saying, well, I've given him medication at this time, but then again, yes, you would, because people have no medications at different times. She talked about everything she put in Sebastian's mouth. Hmm. Yeah. Like his breakfast. Fun fact. That's a fun fact. That got me when she said that. But no, I won't judge her on the fact that she hasn't said, oh, well, he had a shower. I'm not going to judge you on the fact that she hasn't said that. But <clears throat> one of the questions the police should have asked her, and I hope to God they did, would be, what time does he normally take his medication? Right? So she would have had to have told the police that. So... Why didn't she say, well, after he put the bins out and everything, he was playing in his room, and then about 8 o'clock, I gave him his medication, because he has to have it about an hour before he goes to bed. So he had his medication at 8 o'clock, then at 9 o'clock, I, I said, right, it's time to go to bed, he gets up, says, good night, love you to the puppies, and all this lot, and off he goes. So I can understand her. Why hasn't she said anything about his medication? Because his medication is critical to the case. So she says, did he take his medication last night? Like, no. Did she give him his medication? Or did she, as everyone's now saying, because Seth, did she overdose him? But I can't I understand why they would hand him to Seth. I can't understand that. So whatever happened is accident, I think. I don't think it was planned. I really don't. They had no reason to plan his, de his demise. They had no reason for that. Because if they did, they could have got Seth to take him sooner. And I'm sure Seth would have took him sooner. You know what I mean? So. So I can't stand why they want to get rid of him. In that sort of way. But as an accident, yes, possibly I could see that. And have you ever thought that's probably why she's so upset and she's sitting there rocking because she's thinking, I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. And she's got that going on in her head, I killed him, I killed him. And she's having to think about that script that Chris is telling her. But it doesn't help. She should have just, if it, if, if, it was an accident. 
she should just come forward and say where he is, what happened and where he is. But then again, perhaps she doesn't know where she is. You know what I mean? And when people go on about seeing Kathy's his step his mother's CP's mother's car up at that place, where is it? May I pull it up on the map? Uh yeah, up to this map. Close this. Come on. Come on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Up here, beach market. Right? Now, not just internet, but people in the public have come up to that in PI and, oh God, come back in again. I'm going this way. And said they saw Kathy Barrisock's car parked outside. Where it was parked here, here, here. I don't know, but what I some of I mentioned this. This is uh, what is it? Beach storage. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. I'm, I'm tap up on. Sorry. These. This is next to. Right. Uh, the shop where reports are of Kathy Barrisocks being outside. This shop. Now I can't see it being parked up here. Right, because this house is, people are going to definitely see a car parked up there. So she, if, it, if it was Kathy Barrisox, she's going to be parked here. Here. Or. Right, but then again, she could have been parked up here. Right, beach. This. You know what I mean? But this interest. It interests me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down the my map. I'd like to know if they've been checked. But But you see But I believe it was an accident. I believe something happened and it was an accident. Right, and I believe that he was in that bed 
and when she went in in the morning, he was dead. That's when she says, I went in and woke him up, and he was gone. How do you wake someone up if they're not there? It's like, I've heard people say, like, they've gone into their parents' house, like, the parents are elderly, and they've gone in, and they've gone up to their bedroom, or they've gone into the living room, and they're sitting in the chair, and they're gone. They're just gone. You know what I mean? I've heard people talk like that. So when I heard her say that, I thought, you went into the bedroom and woke him up, and he was gone. Wouldn't you be, I went into his bedroom, he wasn't there, he was missing. He, I looked, I ran through the house, I was looking in the kitchen, I looked in the storage room, I looked in the laundry room, I looked in this, I looked in the garage, I looked ev outside, I looked everywhere. He was, he, he was gone, he was, he was missing. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say, I went in and woke him up and he was gone. So that's why I believe something happened when he did go to sleep. I truly, truly believe. I've seen a lot of good proof of lies. I've seen so much debunked in this case. Yeah. Yeah. But this just gets me, this does you. But if it was an accident, right, by making it out as a missing child, is not going to help CP with his custody case. It's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, his stepson has died and his mother has accidentally overdosed him. That's not going to look good either. Right? But at least you won't have everyone digging into your life. You won't have had people digging into Catholic, Catholic Katie's life, your life, your family's background, Catholic Katie's background. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have had none of that. It wouldn't have even hit the news. It would not have even hit the news. Unless I thought for some reason there was a criminal case against Katie. Then it may have hit the news. But otherwise, it wouldn't have hit the news. But by reporting him as missing, Oh, yeah, that's going to hit the news. And as soon as the Amber Alert goes out, that even makes it worse because people are, whoa, 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 stop the press. It's an Amber Alert. Let's get on this case. Let's find out what's happening. You know what I mean? That was my opinion, folks, when I first heard about this. I, he went missing on the Monday, and I heard about this case on the Tuesday. And I thought, oh, God, we've got a 15-year-old autistic lad who's walked out the house and not been seen or heard by anyone. No, no, I'm going, I knew straight away from the fact that he walked out the house with no shoes. No, not happening. And then when it all started to come out even more about the fact he had no shoes on, no coat on, the dogs didn't pick up on a scent. There was no video camera of him leaving the house. I'm thinking, no, don't smell right. Does not pass the smell test. Okay. Yes, doesn't. It doesn't make sense. If anyone can help me make sense of this, then please put a message in here. Email me. I'll put my email address up if you want. You know what I mean? Please, if you can make sense of this, email me. Because this does not make sense. Either way, it's not going to look good with Chris and his um, uh, what's the name, case. You know what I mean, child? Whatever case, but... Oh, what am I doing? 
Hi. No, I'll keep that. I'll keep that up. I'll keep that up. I was wondering what I was doing then. Um. Yeah, so much has been said, but so much has been debunked. And I think a lot of it is where I said at the beginning, when police stop talking, people start coming out with their own theories. Everyone's entitled to their theories. I'm entitled to mine. I've got my opinions. You may have your opinions, right? Everyone is entitled to that. But then you get these people coming out, like with those video lights, the lights. I watched that video and I'm going, it's not even at the right address. The lights were from 101. The house you're going at from is 117 or 118 up the road. It's not even the right house. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't agree with that video. I can't. Unless law enforcement come out and say, this was took from this number house, 117, 1017, Stafford Court. Then I go, whoa, that video does make sense now. But while I've said it comes from 101, which it does, because on the original video, which has been with it, well, you've seen more of the video, right? You've seen more of it. You see the cars parked. On this driveway, right, and the angle is pointing over towards uh, CP and KP's neighbour's house, right, and the gully way thing at the back of their house is pointing over that way. It's not even hitting their garage. Their garage is out of sight. So you'll get people coming up with all these. Theories and putting it out there, I'm thinking, no, no, I'm sticking to the facts. I don't care no more. I'm not going on that crazy train. I've jumped off it and I'm not going back on it. Sorry. But what I will, I'll play a bit of crazy for you. Just for you, La. You've got to be crazy. Hi, on. Ah, stop. Come on. Okay, for threatens death and PI. Edited and enhanced audio. This is from the lab. I'll put the link in the description when it goes out on YouTube. Then I'll upload it. So. Here we go. He has... You don't get no swearing in this one.
No sound. Can you hear me now, SG? Because everything's in place. Yeah. Everything's. Can you hear me now? Uh, sorry, I put capitals, sorry. Should take caps off. I don't know if you can hear me. Still no sound. I don't get this. Where's my sound gone? Where's my sound? No. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Because everything's big. Can you hear me now? It must just be the videos. For some reason, it's not playing. It plays the videos, but it's not putting no sound up. Oh, that's annoying. Right. What I'll do, I'll leave it for now, because it has gone past 10 o'clock. And I will do a reboot tomorrow. I'll upload this first, check it all through and upload it. And then... I'll reboot it before I actually upload it onto YouTube. Okay? Because I don't know how long a, re a reboot will take. That's strange that you can hear me, but you can't hear the videos. Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to have to see what I can do about doing a reboot tomorrow. So, um, but... Once I get this sorted out, that was just the uh, version, the same version, but without all the, it was bleeping, like, it cut the words out. And so annoying that I found that, got that today, and I, my videos won't even play. But it was coming through in my end. So I don't understand why it wasn't coming through yours. Anyway, I'll leave it at that, and I will be back tomorrow, hopefully, if I can get this sorted out by then. If not, I'll just put a post up on my community tab to let you all know what's happening. But I will be back tomorrow, one way or the other. I might even just come directly from YouTube, instead of coming through this streaming gap, I might just come direct through YouTube. So, until then, thank you all for being here. I do appreciate you all. Even though I'm having all these technical problems, which is flipping annoying. And I'm not technical minded. I wouldn't mind if I was so technically, te te technical minded. I'd be able to go, oh, done, bop, 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 bop. That's it, sorted. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not like that. 
it'll take me one hour, it'll take me an hour just to find this uh, section I've got to go into to sort out. I oh, thank you anyway, SG. Thank you. But we will continue this tomorrow night. Hopefully I'll get that working again with the videos. Somehow or another, I'll either be through here, through my streaming app, or directly through, through YouTube. Okay? Because if I have to, I'll just hold my phone up. Like, you know some YouTubers, you see them, they hold the phone up to the screen. I'll just do that so you can watch and listen off there. <laughs> if I have to do that, I will. Uh, anyway, thank you for being here, and I'll see you all tomorrow night. Take care, again. Hold on, I've got to plug me in because it's going to die on me. Right, good night.